civilization or barbarism in authentic anthropology by Dr. Sheikh Antija. Gottel's theorems on the indecisiveness of arithmetic, the indecisiveness or the paradoxes of the infinite only reflect perhaps the unfinished character of mathematical logic. We know the famous controversy, controversy between formalists and institutionists on the subject of the foundations of mathematics. For the formalists, particularly David Hilbert, any mathematical problem ultimately can be resolved even if not if it cannot be resolved right now due to the fact that the progress of mathematics does not yet allow it the institutionists empiricists or realists think that everything beyond the that which is countable must be suppressed in mathematical formalism the continuum is no longer, in essence, a present infinite. It is only a medium of free becoming. One must also do away with the theorem of equivalence, the Bolzano, Weistras theorem, Zermelo's theorem on the existence of a right order for every set. The number of the first twin numbers is either finite or infinite, a still irresolvable question. Every even number is either the sum of two first numbers, Goldbach, or it is not, irresolvable for the moment. There is at least a triplet of integers, x, y, z, for which x, n plus y, n equals z, n. n equals 3, 4, 5. Or there is none. Pierre de Fermat's theorem. This question has remained undecided since the 17th century. In the context of the general evolution of thought, Black Africa stated the thesis, idealism, in the general sense, Greece, the antithesis, materialism, and the elements of a synthesis and beyond are only beginning to show up on the scientific horizon. What are the conditions of change in the brain's grammatical rules or in the always provisional logic? What can, what can destiny humanity, salvation, expect from such a modification relative to the malaise that originated from the enigma of being and of being in the world, from the conception of the spatial temporal infinite, from the idea of death. Lacking a solution in relation to the evolution of the logical structure of thought, would man be able to reconcile himself with himself through the biological path? Would molecular biology be the way to salvation? Man is a metaphysical animal, and it would be ca catastrophic if a genetic or chemical manipulation were to take away his innate anxiety. This would be equivalent to inflicting on him an infirmity 
that would make him cease being himself. A being with a destiny, no matter how tragic. Perhaps the full use of the associations of the brain's billion neurons remains the hopeful path of an evolution that would make the human being a god on earth without his having to artificially create a super homo sapiens sapiens who would endanger the survival of his creator. The adaption, uh, the adaptation to a more or more complex environment is perhaps the last evolutionary path that is left for humanity and which leads to progressively putting the to work man's tremendous cerebral potential by the triggering of new genetic orders new associations of neurons that have remained latent until now and whose effects will be beneficial to the whole species we'll pause right here continue back with the conclusion of chapter 17 civilization of barbarism I'm your Rob Ryan Heisman